Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through factorization. Today we are going to identify the errors in solving algebraic expressions. Now, let's go through some examples. You can see, here a table shows some calculations of algebraic expressions. Identify which of the following calculations are correct. We will take the given calculations one by one. In 2x plus 4x plus x equals 42, can you say which one is correct? A or B? Let's check. In 2x, the coefficient of x is 2, and in 4x, it is 4. Then in x, the coefficient is not shown, but there is a coefficient which is 1. So while adding like terms, we include 1x in the sum, that is 7x equals 42, or x equals 42 by 7. That is x equals 6. Therefore, we can say B is correct and A is incorrect. Now we go to the next problem. First, we remind that 3x means 3 multiplied by x. When we substitute a negative value, make sure that the negative number should kept in the bracket. That is 3x equals 3 multiplied by minus 4, which is equal to minus 12. Now we can say A is correct and B is incorrect. Let's move our attention to another table. Consider 3 plus x whole divided by 3. We know that, while dividing a polynomial by a monomial, we divide each term of the polynomial by the monomial. That is, in 3 plus x whole divided by 3, the numerator has two terms, 3 and x. Therefore, 3 plus x whole divided by 3 equals 3 by 3 plus x by 3 equals 1 plus x by 3. So b is correct. In 4a the whole square, the monomial is 4a. While squaring a monomial, we should take the square of both numeric and coefficient and each factors it contains. So, 4a the whole square equals 4 square multiplied by a square equals 16a square. Therefore, b is correct. Next, in 2 multiplied by x minus 3, there is an expression enclosed in a bracket and a constant outside. Then by using distributive property, we can write 2 multiplied by x minus 3 equals 2 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by 3 equals 2x minus 6. That is, b is correct. And in next calculation, we can again use the distributive property. That is, in 4a minus 1 multiplied by a plus 3, we multiply each terms of second expression with every terms of first expression. That is, 4a minus 1 multiplied by a plus 3 equals 4a multiplied by a plus 4a multiplied by 3 minus 1 multiplied by a minus 1 multiplied by 3 equals 4a square plus 12a minus a minus 3 equals 4a square plus 11a minus 3. So a is correct. And in a plus 5 the whole square, we can use the identity. a plus b the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square. So a plus 5 the whole square equals a square plus 2 multiplied by a multiplied by 5 plus 5 square equals a square plus 10 a plus 25. 
So B is correct. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Find the errors and correct it. First one, 10 multiplied by 5 minus x equals 50 minus x. Second one, 6 multiplied by x minus 3 equals 6x plus 3. And the third one, 3a plus 1 whole divided by 6 equals a by 2 plus 1. That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting chapter.